Hey there, sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do your reading today. Hope you're doing good out there wherever you are. Hope you are doing good and you're safe wherever you are. I'm considering events that have happened all globally. Um, yes, that's my heartfelt wish for you. And <clears throat> let's get into this reading. Opening up to your spirit team. And I always open up to the angels to help me get these messages out for you. Okay. Please give me messages for Libra. Please give me messages for Libra. Princess of Pentacle. Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. It seems to be like navigating an obstacle or a challenge or sudden trying to regain focus. Uh, it might have something to do with an investment, finding the, I don't know, the money for an investment or how to invest, what to invest in. There is a new investment here, uh, but there is something about navigating obstacles and challenges that might be in the way <clears throat> or that you, yeah, that you feel like are in the way. get something else. Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles usually has to do with like collaboration, coming together. Um, learn. It could be learning from others, doing your research, getting ed education, learning a skill. The threes are really standing out to me because there's three cups here. There's three pentacles over here. There's one cup. It's over here in, in the top of the tree. There's something about feeling kind of like a bored, dissatisfied, or over something. <clears throat> However, what that something is, I don't know. Let's get maybe a couple more cards out here. bored or dissatisfied with the way that something is going currently. Oh, the High Priest. Divine Masculine Hierophant. <clears throat> uh, this is like the expert that's very spiritually connected to God, to Source, to... This person knows a lot. If this is you, you are even on the level of being like a teacher of some sort, the high priest. You feel very committed to whatever this is, like you're committed. It's a spiritual commitment and there's a rebirth here. Okay, there's a rebirth assured in this feeling of um, being down or disappointed, like not, hmm, not necessarily disappointed, being like um, ready for a change of scenery. It might be that too, but there is a rebirth here. Oh my gosh, we have the divine, sacred divine feminine, the high priestess and the high priest. Wow. This is a very spiritual connection here. This is a very, very spiritual connection. I hope you can see these cards good. Whoa. This right here, this high priestess, this high priest. Very spirit, sorry, very not doing a good job with this very spiritual in nature is this divine connection wow gifts abilities <clears throat> this is a coming together of you and it feels like another i mean unless these are both sides of you if they are then two that that's a big big deal you have okay rebirth you have the card that says rebirth on it. It's a judgment card. It's like, hark, herald, there's a new path. <laughs> and here's the rebirth. And it has something to do with working with another, working with others, cooperating, collaboration, laying down the groundwork. So it will be a path that lights up for that. There's a rebirth assured with any kind of boredom or discontent you have at the moment with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. It means the same thing. 
meaning one something of your life has completely ended and is and is in the past and now it's time for another of this area wherever this path is it's time for it to light up for you you're gonna know the way you you're the high priestess and the high priest you're gonna know the way we may be navigating through a strategy here on um, the material realm, like having to do with this devil energy. You could look at it or view it a little bit more like um, strategy, a plan, and something material, something with the material. Death and the devil energy. Wow. These are extremely powerful things. Um, extremely connected. If the divine had a phone, you would be connected at all times. It would be on an earpiece with you. So there's closure. There's communication and good news. Possibly good news. I'm saying good news because it's here. It's right next to the page of Pentacles. This could be also different people entering your life. Wow. The sun and victory on the on the cut. This very old deck of mine. <sighs> Star in the reverse. Some sort of disappointment that you're getting over. A rebirth in what you're going to be committed to. Your money being the... This is like a husband energy, but it doesn't, <clears throat> doesn't have to mean a, a masculine. It could be the person that's just really committed and who you're committed to. There is some type of disappointment in, involved with a past commitment. Obviously, that's coming out as being something that we were looking kind of maybe sad about. or I kept getting disappointed, but that's not normally what... It is what the star in reverse would mean, but it's not normally what the four cups four cups is more like apathetic just not even not even being able to relate death card <laughs> ten of pentacles yeah something that you do <clears throat> something that you're gonna do and be that you're already uh feeling like a rebirth of commitment to is gonna bring you the celebration the milestones that you're wanting to meet Oh, you're at the Emperor Energy 4-4. Four, four. You're on the right path. Do not get discouraged at this point when you see 4-4, four, four, especially with this. It's like homecoming together with um, people and energies that um, you're supposed to be together with. And your plans, whatever you plan here, be strategic about. It's going to pay off with the Ten of Pentacles. And this can speak to family and coming together. If you're if you're someone who's in a family, like if you're already in a family, and have your own family, then it's very, very spiritually connected. If it's not, if it's about a disappointment from a past one, then this is bringing in a more divinely guided counterpart for you. <clears throat> this is like knowing yourself within. This is being able to teach it to others is how I'm reading this. Ace of Cups, and that's what the, the gift, uh, that's Source, that's Divine saying, yep, I have a gift, here it is. This is your gift. Here is a gift for you. It's going to be a cup that overfloweth. You know what I'm getting in my mind? Uh, when they talk about the 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 Noah's Ark, um, you know, the Great Flood back in, what, 657? Was it something like that, 657? Anyway, when when they do that, <clears throat> they were talking about, um, you know, because we always wonder, like, how do they get, how do they get water? And so in the Torah, it, it talks about this uh, rock that was able to, um, that, that God himself brought water from, a continuous flow of water. 
from. That, that might have been a, a magical or mystical way to explain how uh, that could have even worked out, right? This is what that reminds me of. It reminds me of something kind of miraculous, a gift from um, God himself, where or source himself, whatever you call it. There's a... <clears throat> You have something that appears to be a stone that there's, there's going to be water brought forth from it. Mm, that's the judgment. That's judgment is that you deserve this and that's the judgment for you. You look at the death card here twice as a closing and ending, a change, a transformation, but also the dawn that you can see. And remember what they say, like, I believe in this. If you feel like you're at that point where it's never coming, then that's the point when it's probably closer than you think. Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is in the rever reverse. So you have two aces now. This is your um, mental strength and clarity information coming to you. They're both being given to you by the divine, okay? that That's why I love these cards here, the older ones, is because it's, it's a gift from the divine. And these two energies here are divine. <clears throat> Will you receive is what my message is. Like literally, um, your angel saying, okay, here's this gift from above, from the heavens. Will you receive? You have to be open to receive it. You have to notice it to receive it. Okay, being able to receive it is going to be like getting into the flow of the vibration that it emits, that the gift is, okay? And so what this could stand for is that the way that you can easily or more easily receive are probably things and steps that you're already doing, such as eating healthier, <clears throat> nurturing yourself. Making sure joy and laughter are part of your day, no matter what. Um, those things will put you in receptive mode to be on that frequency of which these are already here. It's the frequency thing. Hmm. Don't overthink this. Don't overthink this. Or get caught up in, in emotions that might be or feel too heavy. There's the devil again. He's like, hi. No, he's, he's here for strategy and planning. Um, and for contrast sometimes. He could be here to say, maybe we need to take a look at our inner fears and our doubts. Or any type of toxicity in our life that is holding us back from receiving this. You would know what it is. Because this card would indicate taking really good care of yourself. Showing yourself love. A good strategy, sure. Material, maybe materialism. But I'm, I'm not really picking that up much. I'm picking up that it's going to lead to great wealth, this strategy. <clears throat> Overcoming your fears would be showing that you're, you're finding a balance with this devil energy anyway. Letting go of heartache and allowing your heart to heal. They're really saying you are the high, if you're at this reading, you're the high priest or you're the high priestess or you're both. They're really saying that. Here's the path. <clears throat> okay, so here's the path, the rebirth card. Here's the path, then the enlightenment of the path, 1010. It is also a big, big completions. And then here's a choice, bringing in harmonious change. The choice is yours. Choice is going to be yours. Which one, which way do you want to go? Something about things picking up and getting very busy for you. Something being very busy. You'll be very busy. You'll be working on a rebirth, on laying down the groundwork for something quite new. There's the rebirth again. You have many choices, many options. It's important to choose wisely your choices, especially things that we put in our in our bodies, maybe that ha that have an influence, or the emotions that we can get too wrapped up in some type of emotion <clears throat> instead of finding that balance between the heart and the brain, and then then we get off balance in that way, then we can get sucked into a lower feeling of sadness, and, and it's okay to experience those. You have to, but there is a point of letting go of it. 
this is a fresh new start for you and okay the way is a little bit different mysterious two two has to do with a new partnership coming into your life for many of you this is about <clears throat> making a decision it could be feeling a little split on a decision or there was something that we had postponed for a while but the moon brings in changes and I'm being drawn to the night sky. So the path, the path is not, I can't see it all right now. There's a little, there's like an element of mystery and surprise though. I love the moon card. Um, even though it can, it can bring in, it can show, it can actually show us if we're open to it, to looking at what is an illusion and what is not. What is it that we feel? How do we really feel? Getting tapped into our intuition. Spiritual gifts, spiritual abilities. Instead of getting trapped in the head with the nine of swords, those swords are meant to be in your hand. And um, when they're just stacked upon each other, this could be worry, this can be hopelessness or doubt or confusion in a sense. It's just the mind's going and going. It keeps us up. It gives anxiety and um, sleepless nights. So it's not to worry about that. Or something you're going to build from whatever fell in the past. Okay, That would be the tower in the reverse. Is that it's time for a fresh new start so you can build from what didn't work out in the past. Something stronger something that's going to be stable secure built on love trust honesty and dependability like it's going to be these bricks will be stronger this time this is a possibly a past lifetime soulmate or a soul soul a tribe connection coming back in to your life for this part of the journey should you want it another seven seven of swords Ooh. We've had to see through um, deception. We've had to see through things that were more like a mind trap than they were an optical illusion more than they were real. Okay, so your journey, your journey. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles reversed, the world reversed, the Emperor reversed, and the Four of Wands. It is definitely this path is changing. It's gonna be up to your choice. But the path is definitely changing and there has been a big time out or a rest, you could say, where we're trying to figure out what strategy do we want to do moving forward. Um, it could have been dealing with somebody, if the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse, if it's, it could have been an interfering energy with a new chapter in your life. Or it could have been just really needing to focus on the finances and resources and think long and hard about a strategy before moving forward. For some of you all, this is like a mother or a mother-in-law, somebody that caused, and this could be a father, but these two figures are both presenting a power problem for me or power plays. And ultimately, it's, it would cause like a, some kind of hiccup in you to going on to your next chapter. And so the four of wands in the reverse is like, no, it's time for you to make a big move past these energies that have power issues. We're trying to make power plays, trying to stop things, you know. <clears throat> Oof. With that queen of pentacles too, I'm getting unfaithful from somebody. Not everybody, but I, that word just popped into my head when I saw that. Um, again, so the Queen of Swords cutting off or cutting out who or what you need to cut out with the Queen of Swords. Placing your boundaries and, um, and going in the direction of what we would say your true north node is. So going in the direction that is ultimately for your highest good and really everyone around you. Protecting your projects and protecting your divine connection. You have extremely good communication. Be open to receiving more communication from the divine. That's what I'm picking up with this Queen of Swords. As you go into that direction, that is the correct direction for you. The chariot in the reverse. It's again kind of pointing out that there might have been a pause. 
or if you were moving forward, it was like constantly having to also defend yourself. We could be talking about spiritual warfare here. So you are moving, but how, when you're having to turn around a whole lot, well, you're not moving that fast, right? To be Aries, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn, another Capricorn reference possibly, Empress energy in the reverse, it's one of isolating oneself or falling victim to this it's like a, a the emperor, the empress. It could be a mother, father energy, uh, but this is so uh, messed up in the reverse, and has is so many issues. <clears throat> the emperors could be that we're shying away, or we had been isolating for a while, um, and it's it would be ready to start. You know this empress energy, ready to start the empress energy. Tell me a little bit more. Let's get a different deck, the Siren Song, and I'll find out more about this group right here because it seems like they're wanting to talk a lot about this. And the letter. Somebody could really want to travel right now and have issues with their car or with driving and just in in general. So it could be that things really need to get worked out in that area in order to change your change path. The marriage card, the false person card. This marriage card usually comes out when it's about a business partnership. There's the, the star in the reverse again, the hope in the reverse. It's the disappointment that somebody, maybe you feel like somebody wasn't being them tr their true selves. A false person it could be imposter syndrome where we're uh, living small when we could be living much bigger or we're playing it small when we could be, if, if the emperor and the empress are, if that is our energy, then we need to turn them around so that we are living fully in those energies so that we... Um, allow ourselves like divine grace and for things to manifest easily there's the effort with the birds and people are talking maybe about the effort there's something about relocation possibly a message the stork new business opportunity addition to the family like I said, a relocation or a move it's something that just this I feel like this is about a future energy this is just a message that hasn't come in quite yet but your spirit team is talking to you especially through birds your uh, passed on loved ones through birds too somehow the Sun in reverse something that we don't see about ourselves Because we're focused on that four of cups okay because the sun always comes out every day um clover good luck good fortune it ha comes when we're we're on the path here well that would be part of signs and synchronicities too for you is to know hey it's just your spirit team saying hey you're on the right path we just want you to know if you are spending time like having a brief period of illness and maybe actual physical or you feel like your situation is unhealthy for you um, this could be about going out into nature with garden socializing with the right people getting your mood up laughing and don't lose faith across don't lose faith a snake in the midst. Who is the snake in the midst? Oh, I have the heart. And I have marriage. And I have high honor. Don't lose faith just because of what some... If somebody is saying something to you or tries to spread something about you that's derogatory, it will be taken care of and conquered by... God's love by source by the heart energy here it will be squished as well as a bird could quite easily some birds could easily uh, swoop down and get a snake if they wanted to 
So there's something about release your cares, your worries, your concerns about anybody that has like a sabotaging energy around you or that has nothing good to say. In fact, they want to say things that are harmful. There is a divine union coming, whether that, however that comes in to your life. There, you have, you hold high honor. I've, I felt this like earlier with the divine, you hold high honor. Um, your connection is just very, very strong. And do not lose the faith is here. Part of a divine plan, a divine reasoning for all this coming together for you and for this in, in clarity of mind needed to know what is being offered to you because it's rather big. Finding you out, finding, I just shuffle these two. You got these on the line, Pisces energy. Labyrinth and telephone, two, two. So with the partnerships, you may have felt like something was lost, delayed, or like I say, you got to a point where you weren't sure if something was going to happen for you. It's con complex, I have. It's complex. It's the labyrinth. Um, but I also have telephone, which is connection, communication, conversation, getting through to a street, message, vocal, loud and clear, the checkered flag, conclusion, outcome, finale, completion, verdict, settled, result, signaling the end, finishing first, achievement, endings, the final chapter. And I have the winter months, so it could be in Capricorn season, Aquarius or Libra season for you, not Libra, Pisces for you. Pisces being highlighted for sure though. The crone is an older uh, person, it, usually an older, wiser female, somebody who is, you don't have to be an older body though. It could be a young person with an old soul that is really able to see past, present, future very easily. They could give good guidance, <clears throat> the crone energy. I have castle, pride, recognition, position, praise for achievements. History, legacy, architecture, power, prestige, isolation. And then here, this this uh, love thing and this don't lose the faith. It, they're literally the heart thing. They're saying don't, don't uh, lose faith because something's very likely at this time. This situation or outcome is likely to occur. You also have sap on the bottom, which is about resources. Getting the needed materials that you need. Like they will come as you need them. Even if you have dealt with some type of delay currently. So know that you have access to the flow, wealth, the essence of life. You are grounded. This is about your roots, your abundant life force, physical health, and nourishment. And then another two. Two, two, two. You have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive, unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others to the most fair, beneficial outcome. <laughs> I am diplomatic. And then you also have 20. So twos are all over the board, right? Let's pull from the White Light Oracle. Oh, sorry. 20 is you relate to others on almost a cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds and have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's a, where's the love? The love. Where's your love? love, love. Theta of Venus, 25. Attune yourself to higher consciousness by choosing to access the purest frequencies of love within. Acknowledge lower frequencies such as judgment, fear, doubt, or shame when they arise within you, but it, do not give them a foothold in your heart. You are ready for higher understanding, <clears throat> to see things in a new and more positive light. Allow your inner knowing to guide you on a unique, beautiful, and highly spiritual life path. Yep. I am sending you so much love. Bye there, Libras.